Happy Monday, everybody. How are you? Happy Monday. I'm cold. Yeah, it was cold this morning, wasn't it? But you're supposed to be cold, right? It's the end of November. December's beating on the door. Yeah, I was gonna. Christmas is here. Yeah, December is at the end of the week. Mm -hmm. Christmas less than one month. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, the snow finally came. So yes. Thanksgiving was awesome. How was your Thanksgiving? It was great. Uh, yeah. on it, everything changed. Yeah, very you were gonna go up minute. north, and you didn't. No, turn of events, we stayed local, but I tell you, I'm so glad we did. I was Good. so bummed, but it worked out great. Claire did the turkey trot. Oh, cool. I highly recommend it. What a great event. Um, cheers to Big B. These are the real superheroes. This is who I'm thankful for today. You like them, don't you? Well, I do love Big B anyway. I start almost every morning with a yep. tea. That's what's in my cup, not vodka, like mm -hmm. some people think. But they had free... Brown liquor. Free... <laughs> <laughs> Free brown liquor. No, they had free coffee and cocoa for everybody. And it saved our lives because... So just one of the four of you ran. Yeah. And you uh -huh. guys just hung out and had cocoa and stuff. Yeah. Good for you. Yeah. It was amazing. I saw Santa Santa at the Claus. turkey trot. Very Santa nice. baby was there. It was awesome. Look at what a gorgeous day it was. I'll tell you what, though. It was cold. Very, very cold. And I had a dress on because we were going to <laughs> brunch afterward. So. Always dress for the moment. Well, I, I've told my girls, you can never be overdressed. You need a little casual corner of your car, I think, where you have some casual clothes that you can just... I mean, have you ever seen... I don't do casual very well. I tried to do casual yesterday. It was very awkward. I thought you did a great job. You did? Yeah. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I thought that was well done, and okay. we'll, uh, we'll get to that later. So, yeah, the turkey trot, that was uh, a lot of fun for a lot of people. I didn't go. My brother was there. Did you see them? I did not see Joey. Yeah, he was there. But they there had Lions like, jerseys on. Oh, sweet. Yeah. There were almost 2,000 participants. Can you believe it? No. Well, I can because I saw everybody out there with smiles on. And I, I pray that you guys got a picture of the turkey that ran because, or walked. I don't know. They were amazing. I don't know. Is that Yvonne calling? No, we have our buzzer in the door still. Oh, nice. That's crazy. Hey, there's Jacob. He'll be on the show later today. Him and his dad. Very it cool. It was so fun watching. So you were cheering on all the runners. Yes. Yeah, you. we were cheering on everybody. It was awesome. That's a good way to uh, start Thanksgiving. And I, you know, I know a lot of communities have turkey trots. I just love how this started. Yeah. You know, like, mm -hmm. hey, let's go out and run with a couple of friends. And then it turned into where 2,000 people almost started yeah, their great. Thanksgiving day there. And Mother Nature, even though it was cold, it was so gorgeous. Yeah, it was a beautiful morning. Yeah. So, uh, so we had a bunch of family at my house, which is always fun. Um, you love them when they're there, and then you love them when they leave, right? Isn't that the way it is? But no, it was a great time. Um, this makes it look tamer than it was. Oh. So I can't sweet. tell you how many of those little cans of Coke those two boys in the lion <laughs> shirt drank. Are they not? Did, did they not get pop a lot? Why is that about when kids that don't get pop? They go crazy. They go crazy. Oh yeah, can, can, pop and candy. They go crazy. Yeah, there are some kids in our lives like when yeah. they leave, they leave wrappers in my couch because they're like sneaking it. Same thing happened to me. Did it? Yeah, like downstairs there was like a. Isn't oh, yeah. that funny? Oh yeah. When and you were a kid, did you ever do that? I mean, I would have. I would have been better. And throwing the wrappers away yeah. instead of just hiding it. I would do it and like put it in my pockets yeah, and stuff. It. But yeah. yeah, and it's not that we weren't allowed to have it, but right. there were five of us. You know, right. we didn't we didn't have a lot of steal a, food uh, hanging around. A Werther's original, if you wanted. <laughs> we had a lot of pies at ours. Yeah, how was it? The pies were really good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so that we had a chocolate pie. Oh my god. And that's a cherry pie up top. Okay. And my uh, cousin makes all these. She's What's the one on the bottom? That is a... That's a creme brulee. Oh, hang on. I got to tell you what it is. It is a buttermilk pie. <gasps> was it delicious? Oh, did you even try it, though? <laughs> I did. You did? Oh, I went right to it. Was I it did. so good? Yeah. I took my... Uh, I had a private table right outside the bathroom. I was going to say, <laughs> how did the rest of that go? No, it was just fine. TMI, but... You see that? There's a dairy-free, that brown whip. Oh, Dairy-free. Did, I didn't even use it, though. I don't use whipped cream. Well, that was sweet that they thought of you it was. and everybody else yeah. that's a little lactosey. Yeah, but no, we had fun. Those cookies are fantastic. Yeah, those were good too. The my, same cousin made those? My sister-in-law's mom makes those. Wow. Yeah, so we, we had it going. Nice. So we had like 17, maybe 20 people throughout the course of the day. Mm, so, I love that. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. So cool. And then, of course, Black Friday, the following day, a lot of people get up and go shopping. I was interested to find out that $9.8 billion was spent on Black Friday, which is up 7% from last year. 
So I mean, it, it, isn't it funny just the things that don't make sense right this now? This makes no sense. Right? Like right. everybody's crying about inflation and we're broke, we're broke, yeah. we're broke. And then you go out and spend billions of dollars more than you did last year. I did not buy one thing on Black Friday. I no? No. No, I don't think so. No, I did. I bought my daughter a pair of Michigan sweatpants because we were at the M Dem. So we thought it'd be fun. We have some friends or some family in Oxford, and then we had family in Hillsdale, so there's really no good place to meet. So we picked Ann Arbor's sure. Pizza House. We got there early, but it was the day before the game, so yes. it was it was awesome. The buzz was uh, was great around. Oh, cool. And uh, the, li the little cousins got to see their big cousin, who was uh, a senior at Oxford this year. Or no, he's a junior, but he'll be 18 this summer. Big wow. boy. God bless him. So, yeah, a lot of fun. Uh, three of them are from Dallas, three from Oxford, and then, of course, the Nirvana sweatshirt. I, I, uh, she belongs to me. Yes, I love So it was that. a lot of fun. So cool. I ate so terrible all week. So this is at the Pizza House? Yeah, you'd like that. Yeah, I'm going to have to try that. Yeah, your family fun. would like that for yeah. sure. So Saturday, I just uh, hung around and watched the Michigan game. We'll get to that. You went to the Brooklyn Parade. Friday night. That was mm -hmm. Friday night. Yeah. Okay, how was that? Yeah. It was amazing. They, first of all. Are you involved with that at all? You know, I'm not. And people keep asking me why, and it's because sometimes I do just like to sit back and, and watch, yeah. you know, just enjoy it with my family, especially in there. But once, every time, I'm like, oh, we should have done this, yeah. you know. But they, people knocked it out of the park. Of course, it's the Irish Hills known for dozens and dozens of lakes. So yes. Santa arrived on a pontoon boat, which I love. All the stores were open. They had the coolest um, activities. Everybody nice. had an activity, decorate cookies, decorate donuts, um, portraits. Yeah, April Muster was there doing portraits. Um, the new um, Choate Marketplace was open oh, to whoa. check out. Uh, it was it, music playing the entire time, but also something I thought was really cool is somebody was commentating the entire time. Oh, like, that's neat. Oh, here is the Hoff family with the really? Eagles Nest and Eagle Point Marina. Oh, proudly cool. serving, I mean, it was really neat. And they also had a Jeep parade within the parade. Oh, very cool. So fun watching how these people decorated their Jeeps. So that was a ball. Well done, Brooklyn, a lot of Michigan. A lot of fun. Uh, Christmas uh, is all we're going to talk about the next few days. And uh, Christmas in the city is coming up. It's December 9th, downtown Christmas in the city, noon to six, you can shop downtown, and there'll be tons of family-friendly activities, and that's presented by the DDA and Anchor Initiative. Is there really going to be a handsome cab down here? I don't know. <gasps> I see the photo. Okay. I know that's right up your alley. Yes. Anytime you go to Chicago or New York, you love to yes. take a handsome cab. I do. They smell, right? Or a pedicab. Or a I'll do a pedicab, too. Anything but a regular taxi cab. Yes. Yeah. I, because I want to be out of the You doors. like fancy. No, I like being out... In it. In the, in the smell? Like the fresh air. In the smell? It's not bad. Let's it's go, uh, let's take a look outside, shall we? Let's. Let's uh, get to our weather for hometown Burr. heating, cooling, and more. Ooh, it is crispy out. Better get those furnaces checked. Yeah, better call hometown heating better, and cooling. Yep. Get your filters changed. That's right. Tune up. Visit heatandcoolwithus.com. I wonder a, how busy they were this weekend. Very. People like firing up their furnace for the first time. They were like, very oh, busy. No. Yeah, yeah, they were very busy. Did I tell you we got TP'd this weekend? Well, you had it coming. We did, but they didn't do a good job. It no. took me five seconds to clean up. Oh, man. It was done before 8 o'clock. I think we just moved right past that. Was okay. it a boy? It was a boy. Oh, a boy and his dad. Oh, I know who. I bet I know who yeah, it was. Yeah, I bet I know who it was, too. I bet I do. I do know who it was because we have it on videotape. Oh. <laughs> That's what we really should be playing right now. I know, I'm saving. Hey, I'm saving them all. Before we get into the rest of the weekend, we were talking Friday, Black mm -hmm. Friday. Today is Cyber Monday. Today is Cyber Monday. I would love it if people just blew the cyber part out of it and came downtown and, and checked just out. And just it? Yes. Really quick, i got to show you. There's a new store in show the Blake Building got. called HMN. And this was the Apricot Lane space? Yes. Okay. Yep, downstairs in the Blake Building. I bought a couple of things, but one thing I wanted to show you today. First of all, every Monday here on out. You're bringing stuff. Well, I'm bringing stuff. I'm also going to dress for Christmas starting next Monday. Because okay. we only have a couple Mondays because Christmas is on Monday. What's that include? Like red and green? Or just or this. Christmassy? Okay. Or this. Check out how stinking cute this, you know, vintage looking. This is my favorite kind of ho-ho. You know, the old vintage happy. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think this was like $20 really? at HMN. And yes. that will, that's for one of your girls probably? No, it's for me to oh, wear okay. under a blazer and be styling. Okay. Duh. But yeah, my bad. Christmas time. Okay. 
This is going um, straight to Scottsdale as soon as I leave here, an Advent book. This is from The Collective. Uh, this is so cute. They have all the little pull tabs um, and all these little uh, recipes and stories throughout it. Cutest little, am I still on over here? You gotta see these little I clip earrings. I think I'm just gonna have you do all this Christmas shopping okay. for me. So cute. And then this is my pride and joy. I'm so excited to give to our niece's daughter who is just over a year old. Hopefully this will become a family keepsake. These are felt. How old is she? How cute. Well, she's only a year and a half, but oh, well, she, she can doesn't. kind of play with them and then you know, yeah. keep well, them. I hope she treats them carefully. She will. Her parents are, she's got good parents. And then look at how pretty these Christmas oh, cards are. Oh, I could use are. some of those actually. I know, right? You can, you want me to just leave half of them just here? Just leave half of those here. Yeah. Use look them. at Thank how you. sweet and cute these are just for sending little notes to people. Send them now. Let them you know, know that you're thinking about, about them. what I love about you is you buy too much so that other people can take from you. Yeah. Thank you please, very much. Please do. Please do. But please shop, shop downtown. Local. Yeah, for shop sure. Down shop down. local. Shop, dine, drink, Everything. All of it. Walk, do everything. Saturday, the Michigan game, that was great. Obviously, I have a little block M on my shirt because I'm pleased. Um, did you, I hated Gus Johnson and Joel Klatt. So. I want to get Brandon's opinion on that. Yes, after. I would like your opinion on that too. I didn't watch it. What? <laughs> Sorry. So here's the thing. I, I <laughs> forgot, I totally screwed up and I had to fill in for somebody that was sick and had an open house right smack oh. dab in the middle of it. So I grabbed pizza and beer and took it to the open house <laughs> so people could come and watch the game. Mm -hmm. A couple oh of people gosh. did come. Wow. But the whole time I'm like, what is their problem? And then I get in the car and there's, I'm like, do I stay? No, I, there's more than a quarter left. Mm -hmm. I'll listen to it and be able to watch the yeah. end at home. The people on the radio, no better. Really? No better. I was very, very, very frustrated. What, what is the problem? I don't know. I just thought that Gus Johnson was openly rooting for Maserati Marv, yes. and uh, I didn't like it that much. So Kerwin <laughs> kept saying, he might lose his job over this. Who? Ryan Day? Yeah. He should. And I said, just, I mean, they were 11 and 0 going into it. Oh, He's he, going to lose his job for right. not beating Michigan. And he said, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, they're yeah. going to run him right out of there. Yeah. He's you my favorite day so? of the week. Did you know that? <laughs> Ryan Day. All right, let's get to Lumen Christie. They won the state championship. Yes. It was crazy. Gosh, what a good game. A lot of people thought they would just roll over Menominee. Menominee, snarly youpers. They were good. They were They were tough. amazing. I'll Quarterback tell you what. was elite. Yes, so elite. The brother, um, his uh, yeah. brother that was a receiver. Oh my gosh, it was yeah. so cool. There's Cadell Williams. He had just some amazing plays in the game. It was back and forth. It was a Donnie Brook. <laughs> as they said. <laughs> I got to spend some time with Cadell, uh, getting to know Cadell this weekend. And he is a really dynamic, driven young man Very nice. who really went out there on that stage. You know, most, you'd think 16, 17 year old boys would be nervous. Hurt, broken, whatever he's doing, he's done it right for over 40 years. He has these guys so well trained. Prepared. And you know what? It was kind of scary at first, right? Well, I mean, we're You're down, down 14, 14 nothing. It could have yeah. been it could have been 21-7 yeah. had that penalty not been called. Yes. 21-7, that's a different animal. Yes, but it didn't matter. It didn't matter, we yeah. pulled it out. Gabe King, who has the heart of an angel, just like his mother, who is my coworker, um, he caught the big winning TD. touchdown, yeah. you know, and, and, and that was the, his last football game, mm -hmm. right? And what a way to go out. And look at that smile. Yeah, shout out to, uh, shout out to the play calling. Sean call, Brogan calling that fourth down pass. Yes. Jimmy Crowley to Gabe King. That was a risky play yes, call. Yes, but I loved it. And it worked. You go for it. Um, Mag, his daughter, Megan, was here from Alabama. I saw her. I talked to her for oh, a little bit. Oh, did you? Yeah. Then how did we not see each other? Were you with her the whole game? No, but I was with her like two or three different times. Before the game started? Oh, no, during. Oh, okay. Um, because she really did not sit down. She was pacing the yes. corridor like yes. crazy. She, I mean, that she football is in their blood. She, yep, and a little bit of swearing up and down the stairs. Was there some? Just a little bit, yeah. but that's okay. Yeah. It was tense. It's passion. Passion. But it, it was all. incredible. And can we just talk stats? And I'm hoping that you have them. Sure. So is it true that Herb is now the... Tie most tied for the most... No, I thought he tied last year. Yes, most, most state championships Most ever. state championships Ever. Yeah. So the question is, who's going to play him in the movie? I mean, what a story between, you know, be the movie. Crowley gentleman tragically losing his life, yeah, Rogan's coming in and so taking we do, over. We do have the stat tied for most school state championships. Okay. Football ever. It's still a movie. Yes. Still could have a movie. But but he, though, I think. Who could play him? We talked about this. We just don't know. Um, 
who would play him? Who is the guy, not Kurt Russell, who is... It can't be is... Al Pacino, because Al doesn't know enough about football, even though he has done football. No, and he's not cute. Herb's cute. Yeah, Herb is cute. Um, not <laughs> Dennis Quaid. You don't Quaid. think Al Pacino's cute? I mean, he's like... I mean, he's... Brilliant, huh? But not, like, physically hot. <laughs> Maybe in, like, uh, Godfather 2 for, like, 10 minutes. Yeah, maybe. Maybe so. Let's get to these Mason fans. We have different opinions about this. Okay. You go. You Listen, might also have a vendetta. There's just four saying. games that play. I promise you when the fans for the game that's playing, when the game's over, I promise you they will leave. They mm -hmm. will not stay. Correct. So don't spend the entire first game trying to find your seats in a full lower bowl, Mason yeah. folks. Yeah. They were everywhere. They were. But they were excited to be there. And the first time ever. Gotta look the other way on that. You do. The few uh, I interacted with were very gracious. I'm sure they were. I think you're carrying a little bit of rivalry. No, still no, no, from no, no. Back do in people, the day. Do people clean themselves anymore? <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you that um, teenage boys don't. No, they don't. Nope. Did no. you ever like pass the football team in the gym in Lumen? <laughs> You know what else is interesting? It didn't look like Ford Field bathrooms were cleaned up that well from the Michigan State Penn State game Saturday night. The women's bathroom were clean, but toilet paper was scarce. Like not much. Yes. Like passing around type. Can you spare a square? Really? May have happened. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God! At Ford Field, that's the last but place I'd spare a square. But it was the person next to me, and she. I looked. What do you mean? To look? make sure that there was toilet paper. But then somebody else came in and was like, oh, but they were, it was like too late for them to do anything about it other than say. So you had to pass a square? Can you spare a square? Does that happen a lot in the women's? Yes. Jeez. It does. Unbelievable. And the answer is always yes. Our show today is brought to you by Heather Herndon and the entire Herndon real estate team. And each week, Heather reminds us why we love living in Jackson. And this week, we've got the Lights of Love December 6th at Henry Ford Jackson Hospital. It's a, uh, a great event, one that we participate in every year. It's a reflective and meaningful annual event in remembrance and appreciation of loved ones this holiday season. We hope you'll join us on December 6th at Henry Ford Jackson Hospital. Thanks to Heather Herndon and the entire Herndon team at Howard Hanna Real Estate Services for bringing you Love Living in Jackson. You ready to do it? Let's do it. Well, we've got Phil Tripp with us, and Phil and I know each other really well, especially because I hit a deer last week. We're going to talk about it right after this. <laughs> 